yeah, I'll be out in a second, one sec. Seriously, this is an emergency. I've got to take the biggest- Shit. What? My cover's blown. Bethany just caught me checking her out. It blows my mind that you're into Bethany Fowler. You guys are so different. I don't know what it is. She just makes me want to put a Make America Great Again hat on and have loud, sweaty, fiscally responsible sex with her. <sighs> anyway, how about you? How's your budding YA romance novel going? Um, it's yet to be published. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Charlie. Morning, Luke Beth. Luke won't give me the time of day. Like, literally. Yesterday, I asked him what time it was, and he just ignored me. Ouch. Well, maybe he's a seniorist. Konnichiwa, Charlie. Oh, konnichiwa, Chiro. Um, what's a seniorist? Somebody who's racist towards people who aren't seniors. It's not a thing. Good morning. What's up? Since when do you know sign language? Um, a couple weeks now. I thought I'd make Dylan feel more included. You have any kids sign here? None. It's gotta be hard for her. I'm sorry, Charles, but this is an intervention. You're addicted to getting people to like you. It's not an addiction. There are plenty of kids who I don't need to like me. Hi, Charlie. Ren. Case in point. Ben, what are you doing? It's not your locker. Oh, it is now. I bribed Walls the janitor to let me have it so we can be closer together. And what did he do with the other person's stuff? I don't know. Probably moved it to my locker. Listen, Charlie, there's something I wanted to ask you. We've known each other for a while now, and I feel like we have this connection, you know? Like, we're meant to be together, cosmically. Right. I guess what I'm asking is, um, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, well, I, I keep track of how many times you've asked me out, so it looks like we're up to 56. Oh, 56 times, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm not great at math, but if you've asked me out 56 times, and I've said no 56 times, then... That would mean that I've rejected you, yeah, 56 times. Actually, it would be only 55 times because you haven't said no to me yet. I'm sorry, did you just say only 55 times? Sure. I'll ask Charlie out 156 times. There's a slight chance that she might say yes to me. Jesus, man. What is wrong with you? She's not interested. When are you going to let that sink in? I mean, she's never, ever, ever going to say. Yeah. Huh? Ben has a good point. Hmm? Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll go out with you, but it's, it's one time, and it's just for coffee. Coffee? Okay, um, <clears throat> cool, cool, yeah. The most important part, Ben, mm -hmm. is that you have to you have to promise me that you're never going to ask me out again. No, totally. Say it. Yeah. Say it. I will never I will never ask, ask you out again, because I won't need to. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. I will pick you up at five. Well, five? Yeah, it <laughs> works for me. Hey, uh, I'll be there. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? What else am I going to do? He's not going to stop otherwise. Uh-huh. You know when you're wearing a pair of really nice shoes and you accidentally step into a pile of dog shit? And no matter what you do, no matter how hard you clean them, there's still that lingering smell of dog shit? Well, you stepped in a big pile of Ben, and that smell's never coming off. Be seen in public with you. Yeah, very cool, Ben. Ah, Miss Albright. Welcome. You look ravishing as always. Ben, what the hell is this? It was just supposed to be coffee. No, there's, there's coffee, too. Look, I really just wanted to impress you. Hey, you're already here. There's delicious food. The weather's perfect. Please, stay. Just let me impress you. These are for you. Okay. I got you. All right. Okay. I couldn't afford a real violinist, so I asked my neighbor to help. 
Thanks, Dr. Metzenbaum. Bon appetit. Grilled cheese? Yep, it's a gruyere with caramelized onions and artisan bread that I cooked in rosemary butter. Y you made this yourself? I did. Dig in before it gets cold. Stop judging me, Ben. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're silently judging me with your little silent judgy judger eyes. Stop. No, no, it's just... You'd rather get the perfect photo than enjoy the food the way it's supposed to be enjoyed? I don't get it. Of course you don't. Okay, so say the sandwich. Best sandwich I've ever had. Hot, delicious, it's amazing. How long does that enjoyment last? Okay, now say I take a photo of it and I share it on Instagram, then everybody can enjoy its beauty forever. Oh my God. Can't share that on Instagram? Wait, Ben, this is incredible. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to serve you a gourmet version of something we used to eat when we were kids. Oh, speaking of, check it out. You still have yours? Yeah, I'm somewhere, somewhere in my room, in a box, maybe. I wear mine every day to remind me what I once had. Okay, look, Ben, I'm, I'm really flattered that you like me as much as you do. But fourth grade was like a really long time ago and I just, I don't feel, I don't feel that way anymore. Because you're into Luke now. Um, how, what, how did you know that? See the way you look at him? I just don't get it. Why Luke? He's so obvious. No, he's not. He's not obvious. I, I don't know. Whenever I think about him, I just get, I, I don't know. You wouldn't understand, Ben. Whenever you think about him, you get this nervous, jittery feeling like you're five years old and it's the night before your birthday. There's this, this electricity pulsing through your body. It's, it makes simple tasks impossible. You can't walk in a straight line, you can't form complete sentences, but it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is holding on to that feeling as long as possible, because that nervous, jittery feeling, it's what reminds us we're alive. Yeah, something like that. Um, you know what would be, you know be really good with these? Tomato soup. Remember we see it when we were younger? So good. <laughs> Actually, I was waiting for you to say that because I prepared tomato soup. I'm just forgetting one crucial ingredient. Don't say magic. Don't say magic. Magic. Hold this, please. Hmm? Yep. All right. Alakazam. Alakazoop. Please give my girl some tomato soup. Oh. Uh. Okay. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I, I practiced that all day and it was working. I promise. Just one second. Just. The living, you have been for real life. Mmm, that's good. It's like the chocolate sauce, the potato chips, and the ice cream are all having a threesome in my mouth, except without all the awkwardness that usually comes with the threesome. Like everyone's getting the right amount of attention. Damn, you're really, you're really killing it with the metaphors today. <sighs> Told you, dog shit on a shoe. What do you want, Ben? You did what? I just set up a social media account. I'm about to post my first picture. It's gonna be epic. Ben, what's that noise? Where are you? I don't wanna to say too much. It'll spoil the surprise. Look, Charlie, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, okay? No, Ben, Ben just... So apparently Ben has set up a social media account. And just four years after my grandma. Hmm, good for him. What's wrong? I don't know, nothing. Like, Ben has a social media account. It's no big deal. <laughs> like, what's the worst that could happen? A local boy died tonight uploading his first social media post. 17-year-old Reseda Hills resident Benjamin Bloom was trying to take a photo of himself posing with some graffiti he spray painted onto the billboard behind me when he lost his balance and plunged 100 feet to the concrete below. 
a tragedy police are referring to as death by selfie. Wow, it's beautiful. Not half as beautiful as you. You're such a dipshit, Ben. I know. And look, I have one for me too. Got him from some old lady downtown. She was weird, smelled like cheese. So they got some kind of magic spell on them or something. You put them on, you'll be in love forever. I love it, Ben. I love you, Charlie Albright, forever. Okay, Cookie, I'm heading out now. Won't be back for dinner, gotta work late. Okay, sounds great, Mom. Hey, I'm sorry about your friend, Charlotte. He was always such a sweet boy. Mom, you said he gave you the creeps. Yes, but in a sweet way. Hey, I saw you got a bump in Instagram followers this month. Because I read that 35% of college admissions offices are now looking at social media to learn about applicants. Personal branding is so important. So, okay, keep it up. Thanks, Mom. Hey, Charlie. Hey, hi. What's up? That was a great speech. Thanks. Um, what are you doing here? Whoa. No, I, like, I didn't mean to come off accusatory. I'm just, yeah, seriously, what are you doing here? Came to pay my respects to Ben's family. Is that okay? Or... 